Hello there and welcome to the ninth video in the 100 LRDI challenge series for CAT 2020. I hope that you have watched, loved and enjoyed the previous eight videos of this challenge series and uh, do write to us in the comment section about your feedback and suggestions if any. So uh, taking it on to present set on a lighter note, I have named it especially for Lee. You will shortly get to know why. So you can read the instructions here. And meanwhile, I'll also like to tell you that uh, if you want to receive these sets beforehand, then you can join our WhatsApp group, the link of which is given in the bio of this video. Okay, so in these two slides, all the all the data was given for the question. Okay, now there are only three questions so that we do not have to deal with this cumulative bar graph again and again. I have come up with this table in which I have mentioned separately uh, the number of questions attempted by A, B, C and D, which you know are uh, Ang Lee, Brett Lee, Chang Lee and Ding Lee in the three exams 1, 2 and 3. So Ang Lee attempted 36 questions in exam 1, 32 in exam 2, 28 in exam 3 and so on for the other guys as well. We also know that in exam 1, each wrong answer tracks a negative 1 by 4. In exam 2, it's negative 1 by 3. In exam 3, it is negative 1 by 2. There is also a constraint that with uh, this person Chang Lee C that in each exam he does 8 to 14 questions wrong. These are the constraints jo the important wo maine likh liye hain par so that main bhulu nahi. Okay, so every question here out of the three questions comes up with its own constraint with its own set of instruction. So let us see the and concentrate on the first question of the set. So it says out of the given four students at most how many students can have equal equal marks in all the three exams. Itne students aise hain jinka total positive negative karne ke baad teeno subject mein same score aayega. Aur important thing is that we have to maximize the number of such students. So we have to try if possible we have to see if all the four can get it. Now before I start working let us be clear about one thing that these are the number of questions attempted right. Ye correct answers ke numbers hai. Each exam had 50 questions. Uh, suppose we talk about Ang Lee in the first exam. He has done question uh, 36 questions right and we do not know his status in the remaining 14 questions. He could have left all the 14 questions unattempted or did some of them wrong or something like that. Okay, so we want to see that the same score in three. Now, since we cannot increase the marks in anybody in any of the uh, three exams, now, like Ang Lee has 28 marks so far in exam three. Considering that he did not do any question wrong, only the right ones matter. So 28 questions उसने सही किए हैं अगर उसके 28 marks आते हैं तो मैं इसको किसी भी हालत में बढ़ा नहीं सकता in no way I can make it 29 or 30 but yes I can reduce the marks considering that some questions could have been done wrong so I hope this is all clear now we are set all set for this question ये चाहते हैं तीनों में बराबर marks आ जाएं okay so now in exam three considering that he did no wrong then also his score would remain 28 now to match with this Ang Lee should do should get a score of 20 8 in the first exam as well as on the second exam as well. So, you know that here we have to 8 marks subtract karne and since the negative marking is 1 fourth, he has to do, this implies that he has to do 32 questions wrong. Now, how is it possible? Total 50 questions, hai, 36 were sahi attempt kar chuka hai. Sir 14 questions bache hai, in no way can he do 32 questions wrong. So for Ang Lee, this is not going to be possible. I hope with this example, you are able to get the hang of the question and are a little more clear about the question ki wo actually kya karwana chahta hai. So basically, where it is possible, where it can be possible, ho sakta hai, we will consider that person's name for this question. Okay, now for second person, directly it looks possible, totally looks possible, because look, the three numbers are close, hai. so I think we don't even need to calculate, we can just pass directly like that. But for some of you, maybe, so look, if he does no wrong over here, now some people ask me, how do I choose? the section in which the exam in which there will be no wrong so that would be the exam in which he did minimum number of questions right so that is exam second for Brett Lee so 30 usne attempt kiye the maante hai ki isme ek bhi question galat nahi hua to uska final score bhi 30 rahega to get a final score of 30 on exam 3 he needs to subtract two marks and you know since half is the negative marking he has to go four wrong which is completely possible because Abhi to 18 questions chute huye te, 4 to galat ho hi sakte. Here also he needs to subtract 
two marks to get a final score of 30 and for that he needs to do eight questions wrong which is also completely possible so this is not time waste we have seen that the marks are very close so we just passed directly like that only okay changli is going to be a little difficult because dekhe main pehle hi cross lagana chahta hu changli ke naam ke samne kyunki pehli baat to the difference is so huge so difference of 27 and 34 and plus we have such a big constraint in the case of changli that we cannot choose ki uske kisi bhi exam mein galat questions hue nahi honge here we are given this responsibility to do minimum eight questions wrong in every exam now if i choose ki Eight to wrong ho nahi sakte, kyunki then uh, the score will not be an integer. Okay, if you do eight questions wrong in the second exam, eight by three is going to be something 0 0.66, 0 0.33 form. So that is not going to match with the final scores of the other three exams. So let's better take nine questions wrong here. Agar nine questions wrong lete hain, to three score minus hoga, or final score 24 hoga. Now just imagine, for him to get a final score of 24, he needs to subtract 10 marks and for that he has to get 20 wrong. Two problems hain. Pehle to ye ki 20 questions bache hi nahi hain. Dousri problem ye hai ki agar bache bhi hote, to bhi mein 20 questions choose nahi kar sakta tha because of the upper limit of only 14 questions wrong. So Changli has no chance. Dingli, let us see. Okay, so the difference is big over here. So suppose no wrong answer in the third exam final score remains 24 to get a final score of 24 you need to subtract 6 and for that he needs to do 18 questions wrong is it possible yes it is possible because abhi to 20 questions bache the lekin first exam mein 24 ka score laane ke liye he needs to do 6 marks subtraction and for that he needs to do 24 questions wrong 3 out of the 4 people disqualify and there is only one person for which it is possible at all so maximum how many students i would say maximum there is only one student for which this is possible so with the first question we have answered it and also you must have understood what are the constraints and what makes this question the set special Okay, moving on to the second question. The table is fresh again for us. So second question says if the total marks obtained by Changli considering all the three exams is an integer. Please remember that they want the total marks to be integer, not individual to be integer. Bhoot sare log is question mein maine dekha hai ki ye do cheezo ke beech mein confuse hota hai. And some people are also confused regarding one more thing. I'll tell you about that. So we need to find the maximum number of questions attempted wrongly by Changli. Okay, Changli ke liye waise hi humare paas constraint hai. 8 to 14 wrong in each section. Okay, suppose in the first section where the negative is one fourth, second it's one third and third it's half. Okay, so let me start with getting an integer score for each exam and we'll see later if any manipulation can be done okay so maximum he could do 14 questions wrong okay like in uh, let me just take 12 wrong 12 questions wrong in that case minus 3 and the final score will be 25 here we have to take 12 wrong because a multiple of 3 should have been taken so 12 ki wajay se yaha par 4 marks minus honge and here the final score will be 23 here i can take 14 wrong because it ha only has to be an even number because the negative score is half minus half for each wrong answer so in that case seven marks will be subtracted and the final score will be 27 okay so total number of wrong answers so far is 12 plus 12 plus 14 looks like he has done 38 questions wrong which is the first option a lot of people mark 38 as the answer because of this total score integer a raha hai 27 23 25 but we are forgetting that we only wanted the final score total score to be an integer it was it would have been okay agar exam 1 mein uska score something 0.5 aa jata aur exam 3 mein bhi something 0.5 aa jata so let us see if we can do something about it if i instead of 12 if i take two more questions wrong main pure 14 questions wrong le lu to uska 3.5 minus hone lagega and therefore his score will be 
24.5 and here instead of 14 if i only sacrifice one wrong answer and take 13 wrong then instead of minus 7 it would be minus 6.5 and the final score here will be 27.5 now see with this little manipulation my overall score final score sum of the three scores is still going to be an integer and I have made it possible to increase the number of questions by one. Look, 14, 12, and 13. So plus two here and minus one here, and overall increase of one. 39 is possible. So the answer to this question is 39. Manipulation, a very important skill that we have to get. And for that, we have to be very clear about what the question is really asking us to do okay look exam 2 we can't do this in exam because uh, changing the number of wrong answers to 13 or 14 would have would have got the final score as something 0.66 or something 0.33 it could not be made by any way but between exams 1 and 3 0.5 or 0.5 were both possible which is why we can do this I hope you understood and if even even if you have iota of doubt please pause and Rewind the video and see it again with pauses unless unless and until you have hundred percent understood Okay, last and final question for the set here specifically they want every exam an integer score if the students attempted maximum possible one constraint is everybody attempts maximum number of questions in each exam and marks in each exam is an integer you do no constraints will actually merely helpfully only number of wrong answers because it anyway has to be maximum but only to an extent that the final score has to be an integer okay so we have to do it for all the uh, 12 cases so one more time remember that here minus 1 by 4 here minus 1 by 3 and in exam 3 it was half negative okay so if I take 22 questions wrong because 22 questions are left i can take all 22 wrong so 11 marks will be subtracted and the score will be 17 here maximum questions wrong karne hai yaha pe pure ke pure 18 questions wrong le so 6 will be subtracted and the score will be 26 final and here if i take all the 14 wrong but i cannot take 14 wrong because 14 by 4 is not an integer so i have to take 12 wrong so 3 will be subtracted and 33 maximum possible difference between any two exam scores is 33 minus 17 which is 16 16 ka difference lekar aaye hai bhoti shandar bada number hai ab dekhte hai our idea will be ki kahi par 16 ko beat karne wala number hai ki nahi now again for, for the case of Bretley I see that the number of right answers are close enough for all the three sections so I don't think in the case of Bretley, I will get the difference as big as 16. So I think I can pass that. But maybe for a couple of you, you will think that how pass it, so I will show you once again. If I take 16 questions wrong, because that is the highest limit, 4 minus over 28 will be Here I take 18 questions wrong, because that is the highest multiple of 3, 6 will be subtracted, 24 is the final score. And here if I take all the 18 questions remaining wrong, I will have to subtract 9 and we get 23 okay so you saw that marks kitne pass pass hai, 28 24 and 23 the difference is not very big so itna mehnat karne ki bhi zarurat nahi thi hum seethe hi ja sakte the okay in the case of changli we don't have to forget that the range is 8 to 14 only for the wrong answers so maximum wrong karne hai so i will choose 12 questions wrong here that will subtract Three marks and will make the final score as 25. Yaha par maximum uh, subtract karne the to fir 12 questions again I choose and that will subtract three marks and will make it 23. And here I choose 14 questions to be wrong and seven will be subtracted 27. Again the marks are too close, not even possible. Okay, in the case of Dingley, it may still be possible because yaha par I will consider all the 20 questions wrong for that only 5 marks will be subtracted so the score will be 25 in exam 3 if he does all the 26 wrong 26 questions remaining 
it will subtract 13 marks and the final score will be 11. But the difference between 25 and 11, 14, close but not good enough to beat Ang Lee's difference, which is 16. Exam 2, you will think that I have not considered it. Obviously, it is not going to get me such a huge difference. Okay, but still, let me take if 18 questions is wrong. If I do 6, it will be subtracted 24. I still have a bigger number 25. So it's clearly, clearly angly. First option. So this way we complete the set. So I hope you really enjoyed it. It was a reasoning based set. A little bit of interpretation and constraints and manipulation was involved uh, in the solution of this. Uh, guys, please uh, write to us in the comment sections if you, if you have any suggestions, if you have some positive criticism about our uh, selection of questions and the type of uh, explanation the way of explanation and if you really like it please subscribe to our channel so this is mayank signing off take very good care of yourself i'll see you again thank you so very much